and all about BA. This is going to be a quick session on how do we access a file uh, that is residing in uh, data lake from Databricks after we have mounted the data lake storage in the Databricks. In the previous session, I told you how do we mount an Azure data lake storage in Databricks. So after we have mounted, we, we have to see how can we access the mounted file from Databricks. Okay, so this was the uh, code that we saw in the previous session. And now I am going to tell you how to access the mounted records or mounted files from the data lake storage. Okay, before I take you through the code, I will tell you what we are going to do. Okay, I have a text file in my um, data lake storage under demo container and input folder. I have four columns, some column 1, 2, 3 and 4. I am going to change the column names as new column 1, new column 2, new column 3 and new column 4. Okay, after I have modified, I am going to write back the a new set of columns with the same set of records in the same file basically the same file i'm going to modify just the header okay using databricks how do we do that that's what i'm going to tell you today we are going to use pandas for it that's why i'm going to Im import pandas as pd and this pd.read csv will give you the entire content of your text file okay uh, after we mount our um, data like storage in the databricks we can access using the dbfs slash mount point this is the mount point in which we have mounted our data lake okay i'm just going to use the same mount point followed by the file name and the separator in your text file if your columns are separated by pipe you can make use of pipe here or space you can make use of space here like that you can make use of according to the content of the file okay and after we have got the content in this particular data frame i'm just printing the column names for our understanding okay initially it is going to print uh, uh, I mean um, some column 1, some column 2, some column 3 and some column 4. Okay. How do we access the columns? Data frame name dot columns. Okay. Nextly, I am going to change the column names using a list. This is a list of string which I am going to assign to data frame dot columns. Okay. So, if I assign this list to the columns uh, attribute, right, my data frame is going to take uh, the column names from the list that we are giving. Okay. So, after we have assigned this and if we are printing it, we will be seeing new column 1, new column 2, new column 3, new column 4. Okay. And then, if you want to uh, change any particular column specifically, instead of doing it as a bulk, right, you can make use of a rename function, data frame name dot rename followed by the columns attribute okay in columns you have to mention old column name followed by the new column name i have to change this column alone to new column 3 a okay so that's why i'm giving columns new column 3 to new column 3 a this is going to change just one particular column okay and i'm saying one attribute called in place equal to true this in place equal to true is nothing but we are going to make modification to the actual data frame itself okay it's going to be a persistent uh, a change okay so that's why we have to make use of in place equal to true after we have changed one particular column name if we print it again it is going to print us new column 1 new column 2 new column 3 a followed by new column 4 okay and after we have changed that we are going to write the content of the data frame to a csv file so data frame name dot to csv followed by the file path okay let me run this quickly and show you how you how it works okay so initially it was <coughs> some column one two three and four nextly it got changed to new column one two three four and then new column 3 alone got changed to 3a okay let us also quickly verify the um, file content if it has been modified actually new column 1 new column 2 new column 3 and new column 4 okay so the first uh, one is nothing but this is the um, uh, data frames uh, index okay if you have to remove this we have to add certain lines of code uh, that we can see in the next session okay for now we have written the data frame entirely to a csv file that is adding this new column here okay actually we had four columns in the file it is adding the index also uh, in the first column okay this is nothing but the index of the data frame okay uh, that's all with me for this session if you haven't subscribed to my um, channel i request you to subscribe thanks a lot for watching